guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Today I am unboxing and reviewing my September glam bag from Ipsy and I am so excited. I think that this is just with a glam bag plus, but they are doing it now where the first through the third you get to choose three of the five products that they send you. So I'm so excited about the three products that I picked and I cannot wait to show you guys what's in here. I did pick two other products as extras and those are in here as well. I always put the retail price of each item down in the description box so that you can see exactly what my bag retailed for. All right, let's get into it. I first want to talk about the bag. It's so cute. It's literally like a sweater material and it's the cutest like burgundy color. I just love it. I love that they're doing these big drawstring bags for the Glam Bag Plus. It just fits the product so nicely because you do get full size products with the Glam Bag Plus. The first thing that I got, this is something that I didn't pick. This is what Ipsy sent me and I'm actually not going to be using it just because I've already done my skincare today, but they did send me some masks. So these are from Star Skin. I've got a foaming peeling puff mask. And then I've got a close-up firming biocellulose face mask. So I've got these two. I am excited to try them. I'm very bad with doing like face masks. They're just something that I don't typically do, but I'm excited to use those. So this next thing is a product that I personally picked. This is the Wander Beauty Wondrous Seascape eyeshadow palette. And when I saw the colors, I thought that they were just gorgeous. So I'm gonna open this up. So this is the palette. It's so pretty. It looks like there's five shimmery shades and then the matte shade. The blue isn't as shimmery as the other colors, but it's definitely got a shimmer to it. But I'm so excited to play with this palette. It's so, so pretty. Okay, so the next product that Ipsy picked for me is the, the Murad Environmental Shield Essential C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So this is just a face sunscreen. I'm very bad at putting sunscreen on and I shouldn't be because I'm so white and I burn very easily. So I am going to be putting that on. I do have all my skincare on, but I'm just going to be putting this on before I prime my face and do all that jazz. The next thing that I picked for myself is the Laura Geller Spackle Mist Restore. This is a coconut water one. It says you can prime, set, and refresh. So I could use this as a primer as well if I wanted to, and a setting mist, which is what I'm going to be doing. It says apply before makeup to prime skin after to set your look or anytime throughout the day for an instant refresh. The next thing that I picked for myself, I picked the Context Vitamin C All Day Eye Cream. I don't really have a lot of eye creams. The only eye cream that I have is a dollar store eye cream that I recently purchased. And when I saw that this was an option, I wanted to pick it up to see how it would work. I already have all of my skincare on plus my eye cream, but I am going to put this on just to see how it feels on the skin, what it smells like and all that stuff. But then I will obviously start using it in the correct order. So I was able to pick a few extras and I just got two extras. I did get a brush. I got this angled brush from Shania B Miami. So I just picked up an angled brush. I love makeup brushes. Can't go wrong with makeup brushes. So, and then I've never tried this product and I've always wanted to, but I really hate the price of it. Uh, but this is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. It's just the travel size and I picked up the shade light. I have heard nothing but good things about the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I just do not like the pricing of it, but we're gonna use this for today's look. So that is everything that I got in my Ipsy bag this month. Like I said, I will leave the retail prices of each item down below so you can see exactly what you're getting for the 25 bucks. We are just gonna go ahead and jump right in and get started. So since I already basically have skincare on and I do have two skincare products, I'm gonna go ahead and just use those and see what I like about them. So I am gonna do the Context Vitamin C All Day Eye Cream and put this under my eyes. I don't really smell anything, like there's no scent. It feels really nice under my eyes. I really, really like that. I like that there isn't really a scent because I know that some scents 
are just like too overpowering. I'm really glad that there isn't a scent with that. And it's got vitamin C in it, which you can't go wrong with vitamin C. Now we're gonna jump into the sunscreen. And I'm just going to put a little bit, not a ton. I love the smell of sunscreen. It just like, oh, and it's got like a, t it almost smells like orange too. Oh, it smells good. This is like a really good smelling sunscreen. The smell of sunscreen just like makes me wanna to go to the beach or the pool or I love it. Okay, the reason that I don't apply sunscreen like under makeup is just because I hate the greasy feeling of sunscreen. This doesn't have a like dominant greasy feel. It definitely feels a little greasy, but nothing that like would really bug me. And it could be because I just put a little bit on. Maybe if I put more on, it would feel a little more greasy, but for the most part, I like it. I like the smell of it. It smells really good. It smells like typical sunscreen, but it's got like a, it almost has like a hint of orange to it. And I really like it. We are going to just let that sit and sink into my skin. And we are going to jump into the eye look. And I am going to be taking this tan brown shade called Sand Dollar. And this is what I'm going to use as my transition shade. I'm just going to apply this into my crease. It's got pretty good pigment to it. I really like this transition shade. It's really pretty. I'm going to be jumping into Golden Reef. And I'm going to be focusing this in my crease as well, just to give a little shimmer into my crease. I don't know if you can see the shimmer to this. It's very, very pigmented, but not as pigmented when you put it on the lid. And I feel like glitter is just like getting everywhere. But like, it's a really pretty shade. And using my finger to do this is a lot better than using the brush, which is what I did at first. The fallout of the glitter is not my favorite. Now I'm going to be going in with this color called Sea Salt, this really pretty shimmery pink. And this is what I'm going to apply all over my lid. Again, with my finger, I'm gonna go into Champagne Harbor and put this on top of that pink shade. Dipping into that blue color Coastal to do my liner. So that is all I'm gonna do for the eye look. I really liked the transition color that matte brown but everything else is just got a ton of fallout like so much fallout that my face is like full of glitter right now okay i'm gonna jump in do my mascara real quick and then we will jump into priming and using the cc cream so next i'm going to be taking the laura geller spackle mist restore setting prime set and refresh coconut water spray Oh, it smells so good. It smells like coconut, but it smells like amazing. It definitely like feels hydrating. Okay, we're gonna jump into the CC cream. I got the shade light. In the tube, it looks really dark, so I hope that this matches my skin. So that's what the shade looks like on my hand. I'm hoping that it like oxidizes to my face. And we're just going to be dotting it all over my skin with the brush. Looks really dark. Yeah, that's really dark. I look like I just got a nice little tan. I wish, guys, I wish. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit more in the back of my hand so that I can run it down my neck so that my neck at least matches my face. This is so bad, like, 
I didn't think that the light shade would be dark. And it's really not like oxidizing to my face. It's not like going lighter. It is staying dark. It's gonna, you know, tan up my ears a little bit. Okay, other than my complaint with this shade color, <laughs> um, I like it. I like the coverage that it gives. It definitely gives a coverage. It says, oh, it does say full coverage. Okay, so it's, <laughs> maybe I should read it. It says, your skin but better CC plus color correcting full coverage cream plus anti-aging hydrating serum SPF 50 plus UVA UVB broad spectrum physical sunscreen. Okay. Okay. So now I got some extra sunscreen on my skin. Um, and apparently it is full coverage. It looks like my skin has more coverage, but I don't know if it's because it's a darker foundation or a darker, um, color, but I don't know if I would say it's like full coverage on my skin. I don't know, but I like it. Maybe I do need to splurge and get the CC cream. So that's basically all of the products. So I'm going to go and do the rest of my face and till I get to either my blush or bronzer, I don't know if I want to use this with my blush or with my bronzer. So I'm going to do the rest of my face, then we'll come and do the brush. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Shania B Miami brush to do my bronzer. And we're just going to bronze up the face. I don't think I've ever used a brush like this to do my bronzer. I know a lot of people will use like an angled brush to do their blush, but I wanted to try it out with my bronzer and see if I liked it for my bronzer. And so far I really like it for bronzer. So I might use this for bronzer from now on. A plus for the brush, I really like the brush. Okay, we're gonna jump into the rest of the face and then we'll come back to set everything with that um, Laura Geller setting mist. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the Laura Geller speckle mist and spray this all over my face just to set my makeup. I really like the mister on this. I love a mist setting spray. Okay, so this is the finished look that I came up with using all of the products except for the face mask in my Ipsy bag. Um, I actually really like all of the products, really except for one. I had a hard time with the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette is gorgeous. It's really pretty, it's very shimmery, and a lot of fallout happened with the palette but I really love this sand dollar shade. It was a very good transition shade and I'll definitely be using that shade a lot for some of my looks. But as far as the shimmery colors, I wasn't really impressed. Um, the blue wasn't as vibrant as a liner. I, I don't know if it would be that way if I used it actually on my lid. Um, it had good pigment, the colors that I used. I really like the pink in the inner corner, the white shimmery. I didn't really love the golden shimmery color. That one was kind of hard to work with. It didn't really do well with a brush. I definitely had to use my finger to get the pigment of that color. Um, but overall, I really do love all the products that I use. I really do like the CC cream. It's just not my shade. I wish I was this dark and I wish I was this tan because <laughs> I'm feeling really tan right now. I love the products that I received and the products that I chose. It was It's really just the eyeshadow palette that was a little bit tricky for me to actually play with. But I'm super excited to continue to use them and play with them. Like I said, I think twice, <laughs> I will have all the products that I used on my face listed down below. I will have the retail prices of each thing in my Ipsy bag and the total value of my bag. I really like the Ipsy bag for that reason, to try products that normally you wouldn't buy or splurge on. So it's been really fun for me to test out the different products in my Ipsy bags. I will link my last two Ipsy bag videos down below so you can check those out and see what goodies I got in those bags. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you stay and I hope you enjoy the videos that I come up with and create. I do post every Tuesday and Thursday. Sometimes I will 
post on Saturday if I'm feeling, if I'm feeling it. We'll see. Um, but I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys are staying safe during this crazy time. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.